Hey everyone, this is Nick DiRobertis teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be solving the lab exercise on finding the enterprise and equity value given free cash flows and WAC. This is part of our lecture segment on the discounted cash flow valuation model focusing on the cost of capital portion. So this lab exercise came at the end of dealing with enterprise and equity value. And it has two levels here. The first level, um, we um, have some cash flows and a whack given a number of shares, an amount of debt, and an amount of cash. And we're trying to find the enterprise value at the end of the time period as well as today. And we're trying to find the price of the stock today as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to a Jupyter Notebook to complete this exercise. So first thing that we'll want to do is define uh, variables for some of these quantities that we had in the exercise. Um, so we're going to have some cash flows. Uh, we can just put those into a list. Um, and as is noted in the exercise, negative 20 million for years zero and one, and then a year of zero, and then 10 million, and then 70 million. So I'm just gonna do this all in millions. Um, so negative 20 twice, zero, 10, and then 70 in year four. Uh, we have the WAC is 15%. Um, and um, we have, what else, 5 million in debt. Uh, 5 million. And we have 1 million in cash. Okay, so now um, we can go to uh, thinking about the questions which are asked, which first is what is the enterprise value of the stock at year four before the acquisition, which happens in year four. So whenever we are um, taking thinking about present value, we're always only considering future cash flows. We don't care about what has happened in the past, except for its ability to predict the future. So this is the year four cash flow of 70 million, and it's asking right before that cash flow, what is the value of the company? And the future cash flows are just 70 million. We don't care about the historical cash flows. And because we're right before this payment, uh, the present value of the payment is equal to the value of the payment. And so right before this payment is paid in year four, the value of the company is 70 million. And that's why Google is paying 70 million for it. Um, so because that's the only cash flow that's gonna be coming to us as owners of this company, that's the only cash flow we consider for the calculation. And there's not even a calculation necessary. It's just 70 million is the enterprise value at year four, right before the acquisition. Now, coming to the second question, it's asking what is the enterprise value today? So that's a more interesting question. So for that, we want to um, take the present value of the business. So we can add an import to NumPy here. Uh, import NumPy as MP, as is the convention. And we can use NumPy's MPV function, give it the WAC and the cash flows. And that is going to tell us the uh, enterprise value today. Now this is in millions. Um, so we can multiply that by a million to get it in dollars. So $9.2 million is the enterprise value today. So now that we have the enterprise value, 
the remaining question being asked is what is the price of the stock today? So for that, we need to think about the enterprise value formula. So the enterprise uh, value formula, we have that the um, enterprise value is equal to debt plus equity values minus cash, right? So um, we can flip around this formula to work for uh, solving for the equity value by subtracting debt over to the other side and adding cash over to the other side. So we can get the equity value by taking the enterprise value minus debt plus cash. So we already have the enterprise value. We're going to subtract the debt and add the cash. And here we go. Now we have the equity value of the company. And the last thing, oh, I didn't put an input here for uh, number of shares is 1 million. Um, so now this would be the equity value. And then uh, the price would be the equity value divided by the shares outstanding. So the price is going to be $5.20. So that's the first exercise here. Um, and then the second one um, is similar. Again, we have um, some cash flows. Um, again, the company is going to be acquired. Um, and but instead with this one, um, we have not given to us the cash flows, but we have instead given to us the dividends. Um, and the dividend is the cash flow to the equity holders only. And so when you take the present value of the dividends, you get the equity value and not the enterprise value. So that's the key difference here with this final exercise. Um, so, and then um, when we look at the capital structure, there's $10 million in debt. And it's talking about um, the company being bought for $30 million dollars at the end in year four. So $10 million of that is going to go to servicing or buying out the debt holders. The remaining 20 million is going to be coming as a cash flow to equity holders. So we're only gonna consider a 20 million portion of this 30 million when determining the equity value. So let's go ahead and go through those calculations. So um, let's come back over. Now we have 10 million shares outstanding, 10 million of debt and 1 million of cash. Um, so I'm going to add an extra zero here. Or sorry, no, cash was 1 million. Add an extra zero here. Um, and instead of 5 million debt, this is going to be $10 million in debt. Um, what about the uh, WAC is 10% now. Um, so I'm going to update that to 10%. Um, and then the cash flows. So we can either do everything in per share amounts and ultimately get the share price, or we can do everything in, uh, you know, full equity holder amounts and get the equity value. So let's go with converting everything into, uh, the amount that's coming for all the equity holders as a whole. So we have a dividend of $1 per share. Um, so dividend is $1. Um, and then we have 10 million shares outstanding. So uh, the, the dividend payment to equity is going to equal the number of shares outstanding multiplied by the dividend. So the dividend payment to equity is going to be $10 million.
Um, so then um, we're going to have that for year zero to three. And then um, in year four, then um, we have this acquisition to consider. So for that acquisition, we have $30 million. So um, acquisition price is $30 million. Um, and so the um, acquisition to equity is going to equal the acquisition price minus the amount of the debt because uh, they have to pay off the debt holders. So now the acquisition to equity is going to be $20 million. So then uh, we're not going to have these cash flows anymore. We're now going to be creating new cash flows based on that. So that's going to be the um, dividend payment to equity. And we're going to get that for uh, years zero to zero to three, right? Um, yep, so that's four years, zero, one, two, three. Um, and then we're going to add on this uh, final payment of the acquisition amount to equity. So, yep, now we have four periods of the dividend payment and one period of the acquisition. So now um, we can get now the equity value because these are all payments to equity. So by taking the present value of these payments, now we have the uh, current day value of equity. Um, so then in order to get to the current day um, stock price, we just take that equity value and divide by the shares. So $4.85. And in order to get the current equity value, we uh, just follow this formula. We're going to um, take the debt plus the uh, equity value uh, and minus the cash. And that is going to be the um, enterprise value. And then the last question that was being asked was, again, what is the enterprise value at year four? Um, which um, would be, again, just we're about to receive this $30 million payment to buy out the company. And so the enterprise value at year four is $30 million. So that covers uh, the lab exercises on finding enterprise and equity value given free cash flows and WAC. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.